All right, so you can get the Xbox full screen experience to actually work on the desktop. In this video, I will show you guys that I actually have this Xbox full screen experience hooked up to the desktop. And excuse my controller, it's a little dirty. But as you can see, I'm controlling it with a controller and that little mouse is in the way. Yeah, let me move that mouse up the way. <clears throat> but yeah, this is my little keyboard from my living room. But yeah, you can get Xbox full screen experience to actually work on a desktop. All you need to do is the original steps. Original steps are the win Windows inside a program. Uh, mess with the registry and then you also what's the other step you get vivi tool so if you do that um it will not automatically work for the desktop but you need to do those three steps just like you would do on a handheld when you install the xbox full screen experience right and then from there you would just do a fourth step and that would be to um Follow this link in the description and get this tool. It's called the Xbox Full Screen Experience Tool. And that will actually enable Xbox Full Screen Experience on a desktop, right? So I'm going to prove to you guys that this actually works. And you can actually do it on the actual desktop. And I'm not scamming you guys or doing no clickbait or nothing like that, right? So I'm going to take this controller. I'm going to go and grab my dongle. And I'm going to show you that this controller is actually connected to the desktop. All right, so as soon as I pull out the dongle, all right, you'll see the light starts to blink, which shows that it's not connected. If I hit the guide button, as you can clearly see the controller is on, <clears throat> nothing happens, all right? So when I go and plug this back on, the controller is going to connect, and that's going to prove and show you that it's actually connected to the desktop. All right. So boom, oops, so the light stops blinking. Uh, <clears throat> as you can see, it starts to react. And if I hold it down, I'm in an Xbox full screen experience. And I'm going to show you guys just a little more proof. I'm gonna actually take my phone, bring it up to the screen, and I'm going to go into system, All right? Go into system, going to go down to about. And as you can see, this processor is a desktop processor. It's an F model. You don't get F models in laptops or anything like that. It doesn't look like a Z1 Extreme or anything like that. And you can see there is a dedicated graphics card, a 1660 Ti. Uh, this is a budget build for me. So it's just something I got in my living room. And if I go down to gaming, you can see on that desktop, I actually have the full screen experience. And when I hit the guide button, all right. So uh, also I didn't say this, but it's actually not smooth. So it's not as smooth as the handheld. So beware of that. You know, if you do uh, download this early, then just know that it's not the best experience. It is a little glitchy. One of the glitches that I seen was when you start up the PC, it go, It doesn't want to go into Xbox full screen experience. You have to mess with it. Um, matter of fact, I'm going to show you guys. All right. So if I go over to the desktop, it's probably not going to. Oops. Jesus. Oh, man. All right. So if I go to the desktop, it just went over to the desktop mode. But as you can see, nothing came at the bottom. All right, so uh, for me, uh, let's see if I can get this right. So, look, I hit the windows. It's kind of messing up. So, let's see if I can go tab over back to settings. I'm trying to do this with one hand, so please forgive me. All right, so when I go over to the system, I can go over to display. And when I change the resolution, um, it, it should jump up. See, now it jumps up. I'm going to go to revert. I just need to kind of flash it over. Now the desktop works. Um, and I'm going to show you 
what happens when I go back to uh, Xbox full screen experience. All right, see, as you can see, I'm gonna go to start. Now, when you go to restart optimize, it does not like just wanna restart within full screen experience. It still takes you to the desktop. So like I said, it's not perfect. Uh, so boom, I do it. And it's in full screen experience, but you can see the tab down there, right? So it's all jacked up. But if I go back to settings, um, I can go here and I will just go to a different resolution. I will go to revert and it gets rid of it and now it looks better. So that's one thing I had to do a workaround for. Um, I think the performance does get a little better, but probably not by that much. So it's really not optimized. But for anybody that wants to tinker around and play with this stuff, you would do the original steps, and then all you would do after that would be to get the tool that I, I'm going to leave the link in the description for, and you just uh, read the README and follow all the steps. And if you guys need help or anything, you can hit me up in the comment section, and yeah, that's pretty much it.